today I wanted to talk about, I wanted to continue our, our discussion on, or not our discussion, but our series on school tips and just talking about things that you may not know about your, as a gamer that you may not know about your college, things that will help you so that you can actually succeed in college, in school, and take advantage of some things that you might not know. And uh, one thing that I'm known probably across California as a crusader for getting information out to students. And believe it or not, sometimes some campuses don't necessarily think that's important. But I do as far as how, you know, how to get book, books, uh, how to get just all these different things that a lot of students don't know about because the information isn't there, which is crazy because there's a lot of money that's spent on it all the time, and yet some students don't even know it exists. And so the only people that really end up getting those things is people that are in the know or people that run across it by accident. So I figured I would tell people so that more people would actually have access. So one of the things uh, that's available is the Student Success Center. And uh, what that is, is it's, also, it's basically tutoring. And they have a wide breadth of tutoring. And a lot of times your professors will tell you about it if you're paying attention. Uh, you know, like it can mean anything. It can be biology, writing, English, math. Um, they almost always have English, writing, and math. But as far, and reading as well. But uh, they also have languages, Spanish, sign language, uh, and all those different study aids. I don't know if you ever, did you ever go to the tutoring center in... Uh, in uh, college, Mella? Yeah, I've been to the tutoring center on multiple occasions. Um, they they teach you how to do this, the problem that you're having a problem with, and then, you know, that you they expect that you're able to do it on your own eventually. But um, tutoring is meant to help you supplement your education. So that way, you know, if you're struggling with something, at least you can pinpoint on that struggle with as opposed to having to deal with it on your own and floundering for the answer. And also uh, something I didn't mention is it's free. You don't have, you're not paying anybody to teach you. This is a free service, you know, just offered on campus. So you go mm -hmm. to wherever your, you know, it might be the Student Success Center. It might just be called the Tutoring Building, whatever it's called. Most colleges have it, and it is a free service that they have available to make sure that you don't uh, do badly in college. Because if you're going to pay that that amount of money, uh, you're going to want to be successful. Get, get the best out of it. Yeah. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Uh, also, if you're looking for money, and sometimes this is actual, like, cash, some foundations, uh, there, there's a place called the Foundation on Campus, and they are there just to make sure, just to give students access to things or for students to be able to request things that they might need as they you know they help out other departments as well but they will help individual students uh i know that cypress college has a foundation the loan that you can get for up to a hundred dollars as well as tickets for food so you can get like a voucher that will allow you to go spend money in the cafeteria at cypress college so your college may have some of the same things. You should look into it. Also, you can go into the foundation and ask for a special projects loan or even a grant where the foundation will just give you money for 
whatever you're asking for. Uh, you could be like, hey, I think this would be really cool. Uh, now, mainly, I think that a lot of those, I think if it's something that would, would help you personally, if it's uh, to deal with a need, they're willing to do that. And also, if you have an idea that you think will lift up the community, that's another one that they will definitely uh, be willing to help out. Basically, mm -hmm. you have to drop a little proposal, and you'd be surprised what size proposal you would actually have to do. Mm -hmm. um, it would be maybe a two or three page proposal, sometimes just a one page. Um, it depends. You can ask them what they have seen. Also on that same note, not only the foundation, but your associated students uh, government, a lot of times they have what is called open forum. And you can, if you want to, request things from them as well. And uh, remember, as far as with the foundation and with the associated students, the worst thing they could say is no. But it doesn't hurt to ask. And you know how you can guaranteedly not get the thing? Not don't asking ask. for it? Don't ask. If you don't ask, yeah, don't, don't get it. They don't know. No idea that you uh, have that. Also, uh, there's a health center on your campus, which you may not know about. Uh, it's actually a student health fee that you pay that you may not have noticed. And uh, what that allows you to do is uh, you can get medical aid so if you've ever got an issue if you or you want to check something like uh, your blood pressure uh, this is really important like just to let that you know that uh, one of the first ways that i found out about my kidney failure is i went into the student health center and they checked my blood pressure and they said your face looks kind of weird like you you look discolored and uh, when they did that i you know i contacted the doctor the doctor told me hey um you know go you need to go to the uh to the laboratory and that's how they found out um, my situation. So without that health center, I wouldn't have gotten You wouldn't have known. Time. Yeah, I wouldn't have known. And there's just, they don't provide as much. It's, they're not a hospital. I mean, I'm not going to tell you they're a hospital. No. I mean, maybe, maybe at your college they are if, like, you go to, I don't know, Dartmouth or something like that. But if you don't go to Dartmouth and you go to the local community college, most of the time it's going to be they can they can do like triage things and they can basically look at some information they have a a limited amount of medication that they can give you but you know you may have been sitting there at college and been like man i have a headache and i don't know what to do well they can give you aspirin they can give you things for that tylenol mm -hmm. Um, and uh, that's and, what your student health fee pays for. And in some cases, they even have chiropractic services, like at Cerritos College. They oh, offer, they okay. yeah, they offer chiropractic services, which is really great for when you're building up to, you know, exam time. Because if if your your weight, not your weight, your uh, your body is compacted or um, does it feel right when you're trying to take a test? You're not going to be successful on the test. Um, it, you know, it comes down to posture and, and and things like that. But ultimately, your your skeletal, your structural um, mus skel muscular skeletal system um, takes a really huge toll on it when you're going to school too. Um, not just from carrying heavy books all the time. But just in general, from you know being sedentary too. And also, uh, one thing that you can find is specifically, I don't know how many of these are on other campuses, but I know that at Tritos College, we have the Falcon's Nest, and uh, the Falcon's Nest 
has free clothing for job interviews and uh, for job interviews or just basically you want to, you know, your clothes aren't looking their best, then you can go and uh, they have clothing available for free. They also have uh, food available for free. They also, they also organize a food bank on campus. Our food bank comes on the third Wednesday of every month, and uh, it's a uh, it's a pretty cool uh, thing. Um, they don't ask for identification or anything like that. They just want to know your house size and what city you're located in, and that doesn't preclude you or anything like that. They provide shelter. And uh, they actually do have an offsite place where you can get housing. Uh, the only problem with that is that you have to be uh, under 20. It basically, it's uh, the cutoff is 24 years old. So that's kind of a, a thing that I'm not, that I don't think is great for returning students. But as far as if you're a new student and you're homeless and you need a place to stay, then you can uh, go to the Falcon's Nest and get shelter. Also, a lot of uh, campuses now have been allowing students to park their cars in the parking lot without getting harassed so that that way if they are homeless and they are going to school, they have a place to stay that's safe. Mm -hmm. so that's one thing they're doing, which is really good. Um, and I don't know about you. Do you have anything else? Um, no, I don't have anything in particular. I think I'm ready to get in the van. All right. So let's see everybody. Later, uh, you can always find us on right here on Twitch TV and on YouTube. And I'm going to post this episode today, I swear, this time. Uh, it took me a while to post the last episodes uh, last time. Like, it took me basically two weeks for the last episode or something like that. Um, I think the... Anyway, the point is, is I will be posting up today after about four, probably it'll be up and uh, you can always find us on Wednesday at 1 p.m. or Eastern time at 4 p.m. And uh, yeah, let's let's get in the van here. Bye, everybody. Bye. We're lightning fast and they kick Chuck Norris in his cowboy ass. It was the bloodiest battle that the world ever saw. With civilians looking on a total law. The fire raged on for a century. Many lives were claimed, but eventually the champion stood. The rest saw the better. Mr. Rogers in a bloodstained sweater. This is the ultimate showdown. Ultimate destiny. Good guys, bad guys, and explosions. As far as the eye can see, and